What up, what up, what's up? Welcome back to another lit episode of Loquacious TV. They call me Nelly. And it's your girl, Moody. And we're back during this time doing a little video chat, not because neither one of us is sick, but because we're both busy and we're out and about doing things and we just didn't have time to link up this afternoon. But how are you, Miss Moody? I'm good. How are you? The weather is killing my my vibe. It's killing my vibe. The weather vibe, is whack. Is, sunny, is this a W? Is this what the kids do? Or do they do this? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the weather is wet, but TGIF, happy Friday. I'm hoping everyone had a dope week. Um, Moody, I just want to jump right into some things. Go ahead. Let me, let me, All let me right, know. so let's talk about that little B. Simone and um, um, Danny Lee situation. So apparently Danny Lee was invited to be on the show while the night. Is Danny Lee or Danny Lay? Danny Lee. Oh God, I don't know. <laughs> and um, she is she was um asked to be on the show, and um, she declined unless B Simone wasn't going to be on the show. Now, who knows their personal whatever they have going on? But uh, allegedly, um, I guess B Simone was talking to her guy at the same time that she was talking to a guy, whatever. What's your thoughts? Should someone be able to tell your job what to do? Um, nah, not my job. <laughs> but if I have the power to do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm a flex. Cause I'm petty. Sorry. So me personally, <laughs> um <laughs> Bitch, I, I, I don't think from that me today, nah. <laughs> I don't think that nobody I don't think that that should have been a thing. I think that they should have just not disinvite her, in my opinion. Disinvite her. She don't want yeah, to do my job should have never made me clock out for somebody else. That's crazy. Right. So that's kind of like that's where I stand on it. Like, regardless of who was texting who or dealing with who or whatever, with whatever, like these are things that happen regularly. Like, for instance, I worked in a hospital for many years. I'm sure there's been a person and we may have talked to the same person. You dying, you're not gonna come in because you see me. That's or you dumb. think I'm going to punch out because you want to come in? No. So the fact of the matter is if you need to do something or you're getting paid to do something, especially, I'm sure Danny Lee is going to get, was going to get paid or is still going to get paid because she actually did the show and B. Simone couldn't do the show. And I kind of feel a weight about that. I don't, I don't think that that should have even like, been Mick, where your loyalty at, right? <laughs> right. If you didn't want to, you know, if you, if she didn't want to do it, then she didn't have to do it so that you're not on the show. If you're asking somebody to come to your establishment, you got to make them comfortable. If they comfortable, like, why would you Wait, put I them in? I need my producer to bring the light for me. Producer! <laughs> Hello? Can you bring my light over here so I get some better lighting? Thank you. Go ahead. Check in the flexes. You know she flexing. Ha <laughs> ha. So I'm shout I'm out I'm, to my, is, I'm showing shout out to my like camera people authority. in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. wait, so it's safe to say that your job should accommodate you, right? They should accommodate me, but you know, like say my job. If it's something they know is going to co cause conflict, they're not going to have me out there. I'm not, I'm going to still be at my job. I'm going to still get paid, but they're not going to have me out there because their job is to protect me as well. So I understand telling her to sit in the back, no, don't come out this segment or whatever, whatever. And then when she leave, come out, because you know they take probably like Matt or day or whatever. They could probably do that because you got to protect your investment and you got to protect your guests. So, yeah. I no, I, I, I agree to an so extent, but that's, that's the case. I definitely of feel like in the event that, um, oh, look at oh, yeah, that night is nice. Okay. <laughs> Don't play. I definitely feel like, um, in that event, like, it's either you going to do the show or not. So, if you don't want to do it because of whatever's going on, okay, well, go high my Because, in my personal opinion, I don't even see why she was even asked to be on the show. That's just my personal opinion. I don't like she doesn't have they anything going that's on. Like musically inclined, I guess, to do that little one, two, one, two, I guess. Oh, I'll get it. Maybe. Maybe. I, I don't get it, but... But 
he he did she the right thing. definitely had a jam with "Let Me Catch a Fire." That was a fire song, but that was it. Don't do that. Don't do that. That was the beginning. That was it. But Why ain't me a hat like that? I like that. I'm, I'm not having a bad sh- hair day, guys. I'm not any streets dim- You I girl to hide a big old pump. A big old yeah. bump. A big old bump on my forehead. <laughs> So wait, I'm just, I'm just hitting puberty, y'all. <laughs> wait, so how about this? So I've been seeing this movie, and this is very irritating to my soul. And shout out to all the moms who think that this is cute, but I totally do not think this is cute. If you have a toddler, and toddler means anything under the age of nine, and I don't even think you should be doing this with from nine to like 13. However, under nine, and you're wearing the Fashion Nova outfits that they have for the adults that they make in baby sizes. You're doing baby hairs on your kid head. You're putting lip gloss on. You're shaping their eyebrows. You may not be shaving them or threading them or waxing them, but you're- bag. But yeah, you got a pocketbook. Like that to me is so inappropriate. I think it's disgusting. I think that- this is get this gives pedophiles like a free pass because they don't have Look to go on child pornography sites because your kid has on a bralette and bell bottoms with two pom poms and baby ears and lip gloss. They look sexy to a pedophile because we all know what pedophilia is. You like the kids before they are going through puberty, which means they're flat chested, there are no pubic hairs on their privates, everything's flat like a little boy. Like, this is how your kids look, but you're dressing them like a devil. And leotards what? and all of that. I get it. I, 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 And we're not saying you can't match your child like a nice, appropriate outfit, but son, not these little tight spandex pants and tube tops and belly shirts. I ain't seen so many bellies in my life growing, <laughs> growing up. You could never see somebody belly. Now, it's at every corner, especially in them Fashion Nova outfits. I think I just think it's like dead inappropriate. I'm like, this kind of creeps me out because it's like people go to jail for child pornography, right? So there's like secret sites that you can go on to like um get this type of um PDA, right? Um PDF. Um, but now you have um moms like me and you that have daughters, my kid is much older, but we we have daughters that you can now dress them like grown ladies and they look like little kids and then you got some pervert screenshot in the picture and then selling it to somebody who likes little kids. And it's sad because you know, it's like them it, it, them people that make them clothes I wonder about them all the time because... No, and it's the mothers that buy it. Why, why is you... Why are you just why do you why are you so thirsty for them to be grown? Like just leave it. They gonna get there. And trust me, when they get there, you'll be able to experience that. But why you gotta have them so grown so fast? You too with lip gloss and <laughs> and and baby hairs. And so it's one thing to look cute and it's one thing to look grown. And that is that's dragging it. So I'm I'm definitely not for the kids with the fashion over the nail polish and everything. Like it's just like. I'm not here it, for it. Sometimes people just go too far. It's cute. It's cute when you have like just dumb it down a little bit. Like make sure there's a full body shirt or you know a nice little dress. I don't even nice want my shirt. kid wearing shorts around friends and family, let alone the internet. That's true. Because once they get a hold of those pics, you can't never get them back. You can't never get them back. And I remember Nyla's 14. I remember when she was a baby. And I think I told this story on one of our other shows. I had posted her. She was about three or four months. And she just had on a pamper. And I just thought it was cute. I snapped the pic of her and I put it on Facebook. This was the reason why I never had Facebook. And yeah. somebody inboxed me like, oh, that's child pornography. I took her off. I took me off. And I discarded with Facebook. Now, I just got back on, two, I think, a year, some change since we had this show. A year. I've had it for a year because my year memories keep popping up. So mm-hmm. I have Facebook now for a year, but I didn't have Facebook for all that time because it was that was weird and that kind of jaded my 
whole flow. I was like, yeah, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. Yeah, so, and it's true because even though somebody came and said something, you never know the silent kept the person that screenshot in it. Right, and, and, and got pictures of her all over the house. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's disturbing. But no, nah, I say no to, to Fashion Nova and Toddlers, no. Yeah. They I, they need to uh, have a kid line if anything. That's kid that appropriate. That is the kid line. <laughs> that's kid appropriate. <laughs> that is the kid line. All right, not so that, that not a cut up jeans and the thighs. <laughs> yeah, and like the bell bottoms is mad tight. They got pampers on, and you making their butts look big. Like it's just and, crazy. And they po- they telling their kids to pose. <laughs> yeah, and they pose it, and they got the poses down pat. Yeah, now even they watch little they kid models do don't dress like this. Nope. They They're fully don't. dressed with their Gap outfit on. <laughs> and whole uh, jump on one piece. Yeah, jump and now one. and it is totally to each other. You do what you want with your kid, but I'm just letting you Absolutely. know if you've never heard this before that there are men out here who love the way you're doing this with your kid. They love it. They have my birthday. Catch a vibe. Yep. They-, <laughs> they catching vibes are right and all yeah, the type so of cry. But I, I do I do have a topic, today's topic. Go shoot your shot, shorty. Is it okay to argue with your spouse in front of your friends and or family? Or do you wait till you in privacy to one two check them? One two check up. Go ahead, answer your own question first. Um it's never okay to argue with your spouse in front of friends and family because first things first, at all times you should be arguing gets disrespectful from time to time. Not all the time. You can have a healthy argument because we discussed that on a prior show too. However, arguments can get disrespectful. You never want to disrespect your spouse, man or woman in front of anybody first. Secondly, you never want anybody to start to judge your spouse and or you based on this argument that you have. Three, it's not everybody's business. So if you're doing something that I don't like and I need to check you and we're around people, I might pull you to the side. I might whisper in your ear. I might, I may text you, whatever it may be. I am never going to entertain the circus by putting on a show and you know, calling my spouse out his name or telling him how stupid he is or whatever it may be because, oh, I'm going to get you in private. And it's better in private anyway because I can really light you up. Because, you you know, <laughs> you're going to even probably, some people will and some people won't be modest on how they check you. Like, oh, da 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 Nah. Me, I want to get you, get you. So I'm going to wait till we by ourselves. I, I think it's inappropriate. I think it's disrespectful. I think it gives people a bad, put a bad taste in people's mouth. It allows people to judge your partner or you, whichever way is going. Um, and it, it gives them a reason to have something to say now. Um, oh yeah, they think they was, you think they all that. And yeah, he was arguing. He was calling her a B and she was calling him an A eater. And you know, it's just like <laughs> too yeah. much. So I, I absolutely am not for this. I want privacy at all times. It's nothing that my, I'm going to call my friends anyway and tell them what happened. So you don't need to be there to see it. I'm calling <laughs> call As soon as I'm done ripping them. She ain't going to tell like, me about the part where he slapped the shit out of her, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call like, let me tell you about stay with him. <laughs> let me tell you what, let me tell you what he did. So you're going to know either way. I don't need to do it in front of you. What you think? Younger me used to didn't care. I ain't here, younger me. But older me now, nah, you can't be doing that. It's just whack. It's just whack. Like, who you really putting a show on for? Like, hey, for real. A bunch of people who don't and care. And then you're going to be mad niggas start talking about you. Nah. I, I feel like that's just whack. Your family, your friends, it doesn't even matter. Like, we could say what we want inside closed doors. But other than that, like, nah. Keep that shit to yourself because you don't want to give people the, like you said, a bad taste in your mouth, the wrong impression, and you don't want nobody to ever think that they could disrespect your person or you 
you know, like, yeah, and you're like, well, like you that. just cursed him off. Yeah, you just called her a fat bitch. You called her a fat bitch too. <laughs> like, nigga, nah. Yeah, I could call you know, her that. That's my wife. And no, you can't. You're going to get beat the fuck up. But, um, no, but I, I, I think it's imperative. Like, you got to keep, like, your, your private life. And private. even when you do argue in privacy, I do think you should you shouldn't be hitting below the belts and stuff like that, saying wild shit. Be and you know you only human. Sometimes you want to go to the juggler because you hurt it so bad. But you 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 gotta always remember once that shit come off your tongue, you cannot take it back. I don't care how many sorries, how many I didn't mean it. A person say that you that shit gonna always play I'm in the back of your head. I'm big on thinking before you speak. I tell people that all the time. I just posted that recently and it had nothing to do with relationships in general. Think before you speak. Don't say nothing out your mouth to me and then tell me how you meant it. Because I'm going to respond how I took it. People. So I don't want nobody saying, oh, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I don't care how you meant it. Let me tell you how I interpreted it. So now I'm going to curse you out and then you're just going to be looking stupid. And I'm going to always come at you sideways. Right. So I definitely, I'm 100% think before you speak. 100% watch your mouth. Watch your and mouth. After doing that so many times, you leave, you lose respect for a person. And they lose respect for you too. And, it, and it's one thing, and then you wonder, right? Because I've, I've known a situation where now all I do is down talk you. And now when I, you know, slide, you trying to figure out why am I with this person or why is it's because this person uplifts me instead yeah. of degrading me. This person uplifts me. They don't tell me I'm a bozo, I'm a bum, yeah. I'm a this, I'm a that. They encourage me. They give me words of wisdom. They they give me. They enlighten me on things. They they talk life into me. You was talk, draining it from me. So yeah. it, 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 that's a big deal too. Because then somebody don't want that. I don't want you. All you do is call me stupid, ugly, dirty, stink. I don't want you. <laughs> stay. <laughs> yeah, like, stay. Yo, if, the only, if your person is doing all of that, just run, guys. Just run. But don't you got, give them my opportunity. Wait, that's the thing. That. That's the thing. It's called verbal abuse. Yes. They might not knock you outside your head, but they like you. But yeah, if you know so. you got something to say, and that nigga might will be a way say it in front of other people, so you can have somebody help you. Well, that's the thing. You can't be saying it in front of the others. Cause nah. now he really gonna whoop your head. Nah, you better. That's it. Say what you want, and then dip. You better have your bags back. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'm tired of your old dirty, raggedy, waxy air, doodle drawers. And hey, yo, say a bad shit. Yeah, halitosis. Yeah, I'm crying. <laughs> Stinky, I'm crying. Must be under my eyes. You know, people love cheesy saying, booty. oh, your little, cheesy, your little pee-pee, but your, cheesy, your little but head. Like, like, just reading you. Yeah, you my know. bag gonna be packed at the door. Yeah. <laughs> be, be, in a, be in a trunk. Be in a trunk. Don't even go back to the crib. <laughs> yeah, my bag. My bag's gonna be at the door because, yeah, if you go back to the crib, he gonna knock you out. Yeah, all the way. Yeah. All the way. I'm yeah. gonna have, have that extra key for you. Yo, go <laughs> just come. He ain't gonna look for you here. It is nothing worse than that. And yeah, you gotta be mindful of the company you keep because sometimes people could incite an argument between yeah. you and your spouse just because they're trying to get a you know a rise. So they're saying things that you may respond to, and your spouse might look at you right. with the side eye. Like you got to watch those people too, who yeah. purposely do and say things around you and your spouse that you know is show. inappropriate. People, people are lie. like that. I've been around people like that. I know people, people are being like around that. you just to make your shit fall apart. Like imagine, here's an example. Imagine hanging out with your homegirl, and she's like, "You with your husband? She, you with your, y'all? Both, we everybody, it's couples. It's like group group couple party." And she like, oh, well, um, Tiffany, remember that guy named Peter that you get into in the closet at, like, things like that. <laughs> things, uh, we fighting. I'm straight punching her right in the mouth. Cause so, like, talking about? it's like people that would, and then, and now, and now your, your husband is like, oh, I thought you said you ain't mess with Peter. Like, people do these things on purpose. On purpose. 
on, on purpose, purpose just to incite an argument or in or a, break you a, up a, 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 a beat down so in hindsight you got to just be mindful of the company that you're even keeping because me I'll, i i'm not even gonna let y'all even start that i'm gonna be like oh all right moody let's go or all right bro come on let me take you outside let's go get some air like i don't want to see that because it's, like it does nothing for me to see you and them like ripping each other to death. Like yeah. that's not cool. And that, a, a, a true friend would be like, "Yeah, chill, you know, chill." Like try to calm, yeah. de- de-escalate the situation. Not and not just like this. like, "Yeah, going back and forth." <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh, you gonna let him say that to you? <laughs> yeah. And then y'all, like, you gotta, you gotta be mindful of that. I'm. I'm not in my privacy in the comfort of my own home. I still don't want to rip my spouse. Like, and your because, family, your family would take it worse than what you would take it all the time. Yeah, they're gonna be on. They're gonna be like, "Oh, you let him talk to you like that." He's probably in there abusing. Oh, they're gonna start God. saying you getting abused. They gonna start saying all types of stuff. Yep, like oh, I, I knew he think. wasn't no good. See, she, yeah. she, she, she thought her man was all that. Yeah, yeah, he don't even like her. He did this and he did that. And they'll be telling the people before. Yeah, it's, yep. it's girl. It's so much that's with that. And that's why it's keep, important to keep, keep your, your your love life away from people who you don't keep it your love life. Not for that. nobody else. That's supposed to be sacred between you and your spouse. Yep. Keep it that way. And yeah, I do tell my friends stuff that I feel or that I'm going through. Yep, I sure do. But I know. It ain't gonna go nowhere because it never right. happened. Twenty something years. Absolutely, because those are the people that's supposed to help you build you up and help you kind of think what you saying is dumb. <laughs> Let you know your shit is dumb because that wasn't even that serious. Like, so you said that you hope his mama get hit by a mat truck. You dragged it, sis. Like, you <laughs> tell me when I'm doing wrong. Like, don't yeah. get me up. Like, damn, you should have said you hope Tim train run over his mother and his baby sister. And you'd be like, nah. nah. Like, these are the people you don't want around you. You want the person around you that's going to encourage you not to do all these things. To turn the other cheek. To work whatever out. Like, you want me to do what? You want me to slash his tires and bust his windows? Yeah, and then everybody always got an opinion. Once you start that, somebody always got something to say. And then then when you take them back, they say stuff like, oh, you took them back? (laughs) Yeah. Now you look stupid. Yeah. Why? Did you want them? Did you want to take them afterwards? They be like, dang. Because you see how he just cursed me out. You see how he just cursed me out at McDonald's. You want to be next? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So that's definitely um that's definitely off limits. Outside, off limits. off limits. Anything you doing and you trying to curse me out outside, mister, I'm out. I like learned to control my temper a lot better. Um in life period, and not just yeah. in relationship, just in life. Cause we could have ripped a whole lot of people this summer. We didn't. <laughs> we did it. So, let me tell I, y'all how God is. First of all, let me tell y'all how God is all up and through the stuff. <laughs> so this is why, and and this is and it's, it's true. Like you, you like you really be learning self control after years of being out of control. So yeah. it's safe to say, like that was a that that was a big deal for the both of us. I feel. I feel like we yeah. both have like we, grown in that. Yeah, in that, on that level. And and I'm happy for that. Yeah, I am. So I, I I mean, you know, I'm not perfect. I still, you know, get upset, but yeah, my I'm, world to, I'm, I'm really like slow, this I'm much slower right to here. anger. I'm slower to reacting, and um, I'm proud of myself. I don't know. As you should be. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of you too. Like, right. go when you're celebrated, sis. Go when you're celebrated. <laughs> yes, and not when I'm celebrated. Okay. I, I definitely, I encourage you guys not to be, yeah, you're going to share your business. You're going to share it with your friends because this is what we do. We And your run. family. Some people are really close to their family. And yeah, they and, your fa- and your family. Now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be telling this stuff to my mom or like my dad. I wouldn't be doing that because those people who 
birth you and raise you, they want they always want better for you. So they always gonna be on your side and they always gonna think your person is just the devil. So I wanna share that with <laughs> those people. You gotta leave that devil alone. <laughs> yeah, I wanna share that with some people. They always because we always gonna be on our kids' side. My kid tell me she hates you, I hate you. If she says she loves you, I love you. So I'm always gonna take her side all the time and side yeah. with her. Cause if she's hurt, I'm hurt. So I wouldn't tell it to my moms and my dad. I would tell it to my sister who I consider to be my best friend, my best friends, which is my best friend. So like, I'm not going to be just telling it to random people. No, right. I'm going to be selling it to the people that I know is going to be on my okay, side. It's going to be on my side. I ain't never on your side. we'll jump him. We'll jump you, Chris. Oh, I am on your side on that. Yeah, we'll jump him. And we'll jump Shalom. We're we'll jumping everybody. <laughs> <You're not? Nah. laughs> we jumping them all like and then afterwards when y'all back friends I'm gonna be back friends with them too yeah and that's just it's how just it it's not for, oh can I ask this is a sub a sub question how about friends who don't like your spouse <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you don't like my spouse you better <laughs> not say nothing to them cause I'm gonna fuck you up <laughs> Like, I, I think that that's so, such a weird thing because I don't even know how a person has enough goal to tell All you right. that they don't like Let's be spouse. real, though. There are about niggas that you or females or whatever, you could be like, this nigga ain't no good. You know what I mean? He ain't did, he don't do nothing for you. He puts you in bad situations all the time, blah, 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 blah. And maybe we, like, you could be trying to get that person out. But to just think be that like, that's the, that you think that that's your place though? Nah. Yeah. I don't yeah, think it is. and no. I just I think absolutely not. Like your real friends, like your real sister. No, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it to my friend all the time. I'm never gonna address a nigga, and I don't. And even if I don't like you, you'll never know because I'm never even gonna be around you. Because yeah. that's me. I don't want to be around niggas. I don't yeah. Know. So I ain't yeah. never going to be around you. I'm never going to entertain you. Whenever you say, oh, we're doing this, who's coming? Oh, Anthony's going to be oh, here? Oh, yeah. I ain't going. I'm never going to not invite your mate because I don't like them if it's a plus one kind of situation. That's yeah. why. And, and I you just, don't, but I'll stay you away don't like and my I won't mate, entertain. Anything and I don't And you like, don't I'm want my mate, I'm not coming either. Yep. Yeah. So I, I thought that that Because you're not going to have everybody else and they plus one and I'm just sitting there looking dumb. That's dumb. I wouldn't go to something that they dis that they that my spouse couldn't go to if yeah, it was indeed a plus one thing. Yeah, I'm but not I, I'm not be for also, right, like, Oh, I don't like it, man. Like that I don't have to sleep with that nigga. So if you like him, I love him. If not, uh, well, we gonna, um, we I don't gonna feel like together. is anything that so for me personally my guy don't be in none of my friends' faces. So y'all, they would never have a reason to be like, I don't like him. Like, he ain't never going to be entertaining you you. anyway. What up and goodbye. <laughs> and that's, that's it. So, which is, well, I don't it, like him, he sure. never speak. That'll probably be the reason why you say you don't like him. Oh, I don't yeah. like him. He always serious. Yep, good. So now, you just go on about should. your day. What you want to in your face? Because then if he's, if he's all in your face, then you like, yeah. oh, he like me. But then my, we just my say, man only comes where he's supposed to be at. He's not chilling with me and my friends. None of that. So and you're not gonna have an opportunity to be like you don't like him. They girls and they friends. Yeah, some people do that, and I don't get it, but I've seen it, and I just was like, you know, if that works for them because I say that all the time. I can't judge because whatever works for you, if you take your spouse everywhere you go with your girlfriends, a game night, to boys night, whatever night. Then, you know, do what you do. But I don't, and I don't want anybody to ever feel that way about my spouse. And if they do, that's their own business. But they, keep better, it to not yourself. Me, they better not tell it to me. Keep it to yourself. Because I'm not, because I'm 86, my friend, for my spouse. If you don't like them, then I'm, all right, good. I don't like you now. Because what would you, what is it that you don't like about them? What are they doing that you don't like? You like them or something? Like what you don't like about them, right? You that invested, yeah. And I mean, and and if furthermore, if my friends tell me something about their spouse that their spouse did, yeah, only momentarily I don't like them. But I'm not gonna say I don't like them. I'm just on your bandwagon till we like them again. 
Right. And then when I like you again, I'm giving you hugs and kisses every time I see you still and everything. Like, I'm not yeah. going out my way like, I don't like him. I don't like your man because you be yeah. like... <laughs> That's a weirdo shit. I'm yeah, sorry. like, what's, what's up with you? You're you a weirdo don't... for that. Yeah. You're a weirdo. I, I, you I, I, thought that, I thought that fit in perfectly with the arguing in front of your spouses and yeah, yeah. that fit in perfectly. I, I, I don't care who you don't like, to be honest. <laughs> I don't care who you don't like, because that's so disrespectful as far as I'm concerned. Like, I don't yeah. like your spouse. Like, to be somebody's friend and just be like, oh, I don't like your spouse. What the fuck that mean? Like, so? Who, who, who asked you? <laughs> right. Who asked you? I didn't ask you what you like. I didn't get Because he's never going to be around you. Nobody. This once in a blue that we come around for an occasion... You don't like them? Because when do you hang out with your spouses, with your friends' spouses? You my best friend for 20-something years. I don't hang out with you all. And I see him when I see him and I love him like my own brother, but I don't link up with him and we chill. No, when it's something to do, everybody get their man and they come through and that's that. And we all laughing and joking and games and that's, and that, you know, what is it that I don't like? Like, oh, you don't like his outfit? Like, what you don't like? I don't know. I just don't like that. I don't like people talking about they don't like somebody because what you don't like? Yeah, it's weird. He ain't here for you to like him. This is my nigga. I like him. I love him. <laughs> like, that's all that matters. Yeah, that's like, all oh, that like matters. I don't like it, man. I don't like him. And I can't stand him. Yeah, because you like him. Because you do him like him. Because places. Cause now niggas think they got could say shit like nah nope. Yeah, now I might you have wanna to mess up the whole whole relationship because you opening up your mouth. Yeah, and, and then you you, you, you don't friend. know what that could cause to now for your friend who is with yeah. the person. Like oh so Moody don't what like you me. Told? I don't want her in my house. You better oh, not yeah. say you going out with her. Like that causes problems. Yeah, yeah. That it can. causes problems. It can. It sure can. Yeah, it sure so can. You see, Moody just, just keep your promise business. to yourself or stay away. What, what, what kind of what she's uh what nigga said? Watch your mouth. <laughs> yeah, watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Watch your you mouth. Might not like somebody, but <laughs> and that's going to cross all the board. Partners, watch your mouths when you're outside and company is around, family and friends or whatever. And friends, watch your mouth talking about people. Me spouses, could you get back smacked? Yeah, I'm weak. Right. <laughs> Remember um how he back smacked um Sanaa Lathan across the bar when she told hey, yeah she- when she was cheating that bitch. Yeah, so this is what I'm saying. You will get one of those if you come in my face and my and I don't Ooh, like that. That was a hard but smack. That was a hard smack. But anyway, we don't incite violence because we love everybody. Yeah, no, no, no violence, please. This has been a great half hour with your girl, yeah. Nelly. Yeah. I enjoyed this episode, y'all. I hope y'all stay warm. It's your girl, Moody. And we love y'all. And until next, next week. Time. We love you. Peace out. Mwah. Later, guys. Later. What a record button. Hold on,